On this day, in 1954, 70 years ago, KLTV 7 signed on the air for the very first time. From humble beginnings, KLTV has grown into the most dominant communications force in all of East Texas. And it all happened because of the vision of Lucille Ross Buford, an East Texas girl who became one of the first women in this country to build a television station. One, two. In the early 50s, TV was just beginning to spread across the country as the most important new technological development for the American consumer. About this same time, Pat Buford and his wife Lucille sold a radio station in Oklahoma and moved to McAllen, Texas with their three small boys. Shortly after the move, Mr. Buford passed away leaving Lucille alone with her small children. Undaunted, she decided to pick up the pieces and start over. She called a friend in Tyler at a radio station she had worked at after graduating from college. She learned the station was for sale and that a new TV channel allocation had been made in Tyler, Channel 7. An old airfield on Tyler's eastern edge was converted into the station. The large aircraft hangar was ideal for the new studio. After signing on, station KLTV, with the L standing for Lucille, began operating in earnest. Early programs included live studio wrestling, an early afternoon children's program, and live country western music shows. The Hayride Jamboree and the Fowler Playboys, sponsored by Fowler Furniture. Ralph Coleman was our first news anchor. Kip Kippenbrock was the station's weatherman in the early years, and John Lennox did sports. In the early 60s, engineers constructed the first mobile transmitting bus in East Texas and produced live coverage of sporting events from Tyler Junior College and the first telecast of the Rose Parade. In the 90s, we made the move to our current home on the downtown square in what was once Tyler Bank and Trust. Faces through the years include the legendary Joan Hallmark, Barry Hansen, the East Texas angler, and Horace McQueen with Farm and Ranch News. It's no secret, a lot has changed since 1954, but the commitment to East Texas remains constant, a commitment that now means keeping up with new technology and meeting you wherever you are. KLTV7 looks forward to the next 70 years of being caring, committed, and proud of East Texas. And we could not have done it without you, the viewer. If you missed our hour-long TV special last night, you can watch all four parts on demand. You can find it by going to KLTV.com and clicking in the big red box, and you'll click on that link under today's date. You can also get there by scanning the QR code at the bottom of your screen.